Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about Agent GPT. This is another variation of running an autonomous AI agent on your browser. I recently made a video on God Mode Space where you can run AutoGPT on the browser and just like God Mode Space, this does not require you to do any setups on your local computer. You do need to set up your OpenAI API key and make sure to watch my video right here in this playlist called Sparks of AGI, where I show you how to set your OpenAI usage limit so you don't end up running an autonomous agent for a long time and end up spending too much money. And trying this out will hardly cost you a few cents, so I highly encourage everybody to give it a shot. All right, so what exactly is Agent GPT? Agent GPT allows you to configure and deploy autonomous AI agents to complete any specific goal. If you have used tools like ChatGPT or ChatSonic, there's a big focus on making your prompt pretty specific. And sometimes you don't know enough about your goal to make your prompts specific enough. And this is where the autonomous AI agents come in handy. If you give Agent GPT kind of a generic goal, it's gonna break it down into different tasks and also prioritize them according to what it thinks is the correct order and then execute them. And while executing the tasks, it's gonna also learn from the results and improve on the fly. So right now, Agent GPT is running on a beta version and it actually just came up with a beta 2.0, which was just released on April 19th, which has the ability to add your own API key and the agents can run on browsers like Edge and you now have the ability to save and share your agents with others. So there's a lot more improvements coming up and I highly recommend joining their Discord. You can find the link right here on their GitHub page called Discord and keep up with their announcements if you plan to use this more actively. All right, now let's try this out live. So there's already a browser version of it out. So it's called agentgpt.reworked.ai. I'll have this link in my description. And the interface is slightly cleaner than God Mode Space. If you don't have an account with them, just create one for free. I'm already logged in. If you click on the settings button on the left, this is where you can add your GPT 3.5 API key. And if you have access to GPT-4, you can add that as well. I don't have that access yet. And actually, I'm not going to add this right now because if you see in the middle, it says you can provide your own API key for increased limits. So at the start, they're going to let it run with their own API key. And if the number of tasks goes beyond their limits, they're going to request you to add your own key. For today's goal, I'm going to provide it a real-world scenario. This is something I'm trying out myself. And basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to set up uh, my own newsletter because I have an AI YouTube channel and I'm working on a website and a newsletter myself. And I'm figuring out the strategy on how to do that because I have personally never built and scaled a newsletter. So my goal will be build an AI newsletter and scale it to 100,000 users. So this is my own goal and hopefully I look back at this video and see this happen in the future. And I'm gonna name this newsletter GPT. So that's literally all that I have to do here aside from maybe adding my own OpenAI key in a few minutes. Uh, actually, let me make this AI email newsletter and now all I need to do is to click deploy agent and I was correct I did not need to provide my own OpenAI key to get started and as you see it has already started adding tasks let me look at some of the tasks that it is adding on the right it says develop a user-friendly email newsletter template implement an email subscription system to capture user data Utilize targeted marketing strategies to reach potential users and grow subscriber list. Develop an automated email campaign to regularly send engaging content to subscribers and increase retention rates. Develop a lead generation strategy to attract potential subscribers and increase email list growth rate. All right, let's look at how it's actually proceeding and finding out these tasks. To start off, it says embarking on a new goal, that is to build an AI newsletter, and it's starting to think, and it's added the first task. As you saw, the task on the right, the first one here is develop a user-friendly email template. Then it's added the next task, 
and the next one and it's doing some more thinking and after that it has marked the first task as completed by the way if you want to copy any of the tasks that it has added you can click on this copy button right here and copy it on the side so as you might notice that I actually did not provide any more information aside from providing my goal. It's doing its own thinking and executing and proceeding as it thinks appropriate. But you might be wondering how long this goes. Actually, at the bottom it says we're sorry because this is a demo. We cannot have our agents running for too long. If you desire longer runs, this is where you provide your own API key and it says shutting down. So I'm going to let this continue more and I'm going to provide my own API keys. So I'm going to go to my OpenAI account, go to my API keys, click create a new API key, say agent GPT, click agent GPT and click copy and provide it right there and click save. Now before proceeding and letting it do more research, I'm actually pretty impressed with what it has come up until now. So I actually want to save this and keep it on the side. For that, you can click this button save right here. On the other hand, if you want to save this on your local computer, you can click on this export button and save it on the side. So I'm going to click save as PDF and this downloads the work it has already done and saves it on a PDF. All the information, basically all the text that it generated till now has been saved as a PDF. So I highly recommend doing exports as you proceed with any kind of research like this. So what I'm going to do now, since I have already added my own OpenAI API key, I'm going to click deploy agent again. All right, now it's actually coming up with a new set of strategies and some new tasks, which I did not see previously. This time it says develop an email newsletter creation system that allows for easy customization and personalization of content to engage users. The next one says implement an AI powered recommendation engine to suggest personalized content based on user preferences. So that can get pretty complicated and I definitely did not think of implementing an AI powered recommendation engine. The most I thought was maybe an email sign up form and that's all I know about email newsletters basically. And it has come up with a bunch of things that I did not know existed. Design and execute a targeted campaign to promote the personalized content recommendations to the existing user base and acquire new users using data-driven insights to optimize messaging and targeting. So it has come up with ways both to acquire new users and also provide content based on recommendations from existing user bases. All right, let's look at one of the things that it just completed. Design and execute a referral program to incentivize current users to share the email newsletter with their networks and it has actually come up with a format on how to do the incentivization. It says, thank you for being a valued subscriber to the newsletter. We would like to invite you to participate in our referral program and here is how it works. And as you see, this can keep running forever as long as you don't stop this agent. So I'm going to actually just stop this agent now because I don't want it to keep going forever and I actually want to look at what it generated and I'm going to do another export. I'm going to do a PDF and I think looking at the actual PDF is much better than scouring through these messages right here. So I'm going to look at my PDF and it is a nine page PDF. So this is a lot of work that Agent GPT did to provide me information on how to build my AI newsletter. It says, as an autonomous task execution AI, I have developed an AI email newsletter creation system that allows for easy customization and personalization of content to engage users. I also have this task where it suggests doing some A-B testing to optimize the messaging and design of the actual newsletter for marketing campaigns and ensuring maximum engagement and conversion rate. And this is that email I just showed you on how it's incentivizing current users to refer my email newsletter to their network. Now, this is something interesting to note, and this is where AutoGPT might be different from ChatGPT on itself. So it came up with this first variation of an email, and it realized that people might not read big paragraphs like these. So it actually improved upon that email and changed its format. So it says, 
the same email, thank you for being a valued subscriber to the newsletter, and then it goes on to change the format of the email into bullet points. It says, there's three things you need to do. Share the newsletter. For every subscriber, you will receive this thing. So instead of just saying rewards, which is more generic, it provides a place here where I have to specify a specific incentive. So the person reading this email will know exactly what they get when they forward this newsletter to their network. And it says the more subscribers you refer, the more rewards you will earn. So this is so cool. This makes the actual email much more clear than this having big blocks of texts like these. And I might actually ignore this email myself if I received it because there's too much text here. I don't know if this is actually relevant to me, but this version of the email tells me exactly what I can expect, that is this incentive, and this is much better. Another task it recommends me is to identify and partner with influencers in the industry to promote my AI email newsletter. As an autonomous task execution AI, I have identified and partnered with relevant influencers in the industry to promote these newsletters. By leveraging their networks, we have successfully scaled our newsletter to 100,000 users. Another task here is implement a testing on subject lines and email content to optimize open and click-through rates. So I'm just learning about this myself because I'm figuring out how to deal with newsletters. And there's this thing called open and click-through rates. That is how many times your email actually gets opened and if there's links inside those emails, how many times those links get clicked. So that implies engagement and retention. So the task it has added is to implement a feedback loop where subscribers can rate the relevance of the content they receive, allowing us to further tailor our content to their interest and increase the engagement and retention rates. So this is high quality stuff. This is something you would get from an hour with a professional consultant telling you how to set up your newsletter. Of course, you can read books about it, but Agent GPT tells me exactly how to proceed. And maybe I'm gonna come back and set up two different goals. The first one would be to actually build a newsletter and get started with it. And after I get started with it, I'm gonna do a separate goal, which would be to actually scale it to 100,000 users. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with what I got and I'm gonna save this document and I'm gonna do some studies myself. So I hope you understand the power of Agent GPT. And I think if I were to do my own research with YouTube and Google and reading books, I would take a lot more time to come up with these set of tasks. All right, I think that's all I have for today's video. I hope you understand all the steps that you need to do to set up your own AI agents. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.